Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard. I have a video that came up a while back on some deer antler that I have. Uh, for some reason the sound didn't uh, come up on it, but I never did delete it, so I'm going to go ahead and redo that video. And this is it. Alright, so this is uh, all of my deer antler to date. There's uh, seven, seven deer antler here, and only one of them are actually a, an actual pair. It's these right here. But we're going to separate these up, and I'm going to show them to you individually. And I will talk about them as best as I can remember. Right, so I did make a little error in that first statement when I said there was only one pair that were actually, or one that were actually a set, and that, that's, that's false. This one here uh, was also from the same deer. And I, as I recall, this one was from a deer that was found in the field that was next to uh, a house that I had lived in at one point. Uh, I believe that this pair came from, from a deer that was either it got hit by a vehicle or it just died of natural causes because it was a full deer it's, well yeah no coyotes or wolves had got a hold of it it just was laying in a field but uh, this is I like this one this one's pretty interesting it's got a nice little odd kind of smooth section right here This one here. So again, this one came from a deer that was found out in a field dead. Uh, this one could possibly have been from it was gifted to me from a farmer who had found it in a field not the same field but one that was generally close to the field that that the other one was found in this one's kind of a nice uh, nice set as well and for me this one here is most effective for a self-defense weapon because of the way that it's shaped How would you like to see this coming straight at you? It doesn't quite fit so well like this. This just fits very naturally in my hand, just like this. So this would be, this would definitely turn into a self-defense weapon for me. If and when there's another holding position. If and when I ever needed it. It also would make a nice pitchfork or rake. This one has a lot of this one here has a lot of potential for being a lot of things. Look at that, it would make a very wonderful rake for leaves and things to that nature, as well as a wonderful self-defense tool. Uh, it would also make a probably a decent shovel for loose loose um, dirt it might make a, a decent shovel or some sort of digging device but I wouldn't want to push it too much it would make a decent rake and absolutely a wonderful self-defense tool now here's my other Pair. and this one as I recall yes I believe this one was found on the side of the road as a roadkill 
and it was on it was on the uh, it was on the side of a highway and I believe it had probably at least been laying there for three or four days and uh, I happened to obtain the the antler from it now let me jump back real quick this was the one that was found out in the field and this was the one that was found on the side of the road yes my memory like I told you my memory's horrible so these were the ones that were found from the deer on the side of the road from the highway and then this pair was the one that was in the the open field so there we go again they make they would make great rakes they would you know make decent weapons things to that nature uh, and that's without cutting them up and making them into buttons and whistles and dangly things and all sorts of fun stuff I could even use this could hang this on on something and make a coat rack out of it you know tons and tons of things this, these could be now for these now these last two I absolutely remember uh, where I got them because they were recent this one I got uh, and I even even got it written down here got it found it in Wyoming in the Thunder Basin grasslands while I was on one of my walks and uh, this find and the last find that I'm about to show you are on my videos on my uh, Wyoming trip so if you want to see me actually find this it's on my Wyoming uh, playlist and lastly and the biggest one that I have is also found in the Thunder Basin grasslands in Wyoming and again I have a video of me actually finding this one as well this one has a very very smooth flat surface right here it's really kind of interesting but uh, this was a shed along with this one was a this was a shed as well both of the ones that I found in Wyoming were sheds one of the reasons why I'm redoing the video showing you the antler is because of this piece of metal right here now uh, this is probably around two years old uh, in the process of making it uh, it just was cut from a piece of metal and the back end I was rolling as you can see the us rolling up this end I was wanting to roll this top end as well I don't know if I'm gonna get around to doing that and I am going to shape it into a round piece that will fit on top of my head because I'm going to form this into a crown that fits on top of my head rolls around makes a crown on my head and I will be inserting the antlers onto that crown like so once I get it rounded and it will fit on my head like so as a pair of antler now I know there's plenty of hunters out there saying you better not be wearing that out in uh, hunting season <laughs> so anyway uh, this will eventually get shaped I did have like I said I had a video of me cutting and shaping this to the point that it's at right now uh, but unfortunately uh, it is gone and it is not retrievable I don't know it's it's gone so uh, I don't know if I'll continue to do a video on shaping this but it's very simple just cut it out roll the edges and then 
will be rolling I'll be rolling this to make it fit as a crown around my head and then once that uh, takes form I will be drilling holes in the side for the antler and I will also be padding the inside with some sort of cloth or fur preferably fur I'm just not quite sure what fur I'd like to get some raccoon since they're indigenous to the United States uh, uh, I would I think a raccoon would be really cool so anyway that's the that's the video and there's the extra I'm making a crown video and uh, you guys enjoy thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard <laughs>